Hello everyone, this is Roger Brogan, and today we're going to be talking about mobile app development, uh, cross-platform mobile app development, both iOS and Android, using F Sharp. And the project that makes that uh, possible with the technologies we're going to talk about today is this project called Fabulous. Now, what is it and why would I care? Fabulous is a project that's based on Elmish, which is a functional app development model and it's layered on top of using Xamarin Forms. So this uses the Xamarin technology to enable iOS and Android and also Windows and a few other platforms, multi-platform development using a functional first style. Now, one of the reasons I think this is pretty cool is where did, where did Fabulous come from and, and why do we have it? Uh, Fabulous is a project that was started by uh, Don Syme, the creator of F Sharp. And he's now actually splitting his time, I think, 50-50% between F-Sharp and Xamarin. So uh, you better believe that uh, Xamarin's going to get some first-class F-Sharp treatment. So let's, uh, let's jump into some code and uh, see what this thing creates here. So the first thing, if we go out to the you know, FS projects, github.io, fabulous, and go down there, it's going to show us how to go ahead and install the templates. And uh, this is using just the, the .NET new-i install fabulous.templates here. I've already installed the templates. So let me go ahead and create a new project here. We'll call it a squeaky app per their demo. All right, so let's go over. I'm going to open Visual Studio here. And let's go open our project here. Okay, so here we have our new uh, squeaky app here. And it's restoring the new gits. And why this is building, we can see that we've got our Android project here, and we've got our iOS project. These are just the, for the platform-specific stuff. And then this is our main app here. This is our main squeaky app here. And uh, we'll go ahead and run this first. So I'm going to set the uh, Android as the startup project. Well, let's let it build, finish building first. Now, a couple of other um, important things for this to work here, you need to have uh, the Xamarin features installed in Visual Studio. So if you don't have those installed, you'll have uh, an error when it tries to load up these particular project types. So if that's the case, you can just go back over to the uh, Visual Studio installer, which is this guy. And you would go in here and choose Modify. And just make sure that uh, this box down here under mobile and gaming, mobile development with .NET, that this is checked. And that'll get you set up for doing your Xamarin development, which I've already installed there. So we'll just go ahead and close out of this. And wait for this to finish building. Looks like I could use a machine upgrade. All right, build succeeded. So let's go ahead and switch this to our startup. You can actually run iOS too, but you need at least a Mac somewhere, either to be running on a Mac or uh, have a Mac on your network that you can set up as the remote machine. I've set up um, the Android development environment here using Hyper-V for Windows, and you can manage all of that stuff using the SDK manager and some of the uh, device managers. So if we, if we pop that little button, Pops open our device manager. I've set up uh, an Oreo 8.1 and also a Pi, which is what I'll be using here. So I'll go ahead and start the emulator. Um, it will auto start when you run, uh, but uh, I'll just go ahead and pre-start it and drag this guy over here. And uh, let's go ahead and run our app and see what it does. And here's our application. Granted, pretty simple, but it's got some interesting features here. Obviously, we can go through here and increment our counter. We can decrement the counter. 
we can put it on a timer so that it just increments uh, every half second or so. And we can also use our little slider to increase our step size all the way up to 10 there. And of course we can reset. So Granite, pretty simple app, but why is this interesting? Well, let's, uh, let's go over here and set a breakpoint over here. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. I'll just do my increment here. And we can see as we jump into the code that we've got our message that's being dispatched here. And our message is in fact increment, no surprise there. And then we also have this model, which has the current count, whether or not the timer's on and the step. And then we have this thing called a discriminated union, which is gonna decide which message type it is, and then it's gonna do something with that, okay? So we have our update function, we've got a message and a model going in there, and then that's going to return essentially a new model here and uh, optionally a command, and most of these commands are just command none. So what's, what's kind of interesting about this is that, number one, we've got, this is uh, the Elmish model view update architecture. So we've got a model here, which is immutable record type in F sharp. We've got our message, which is set up as a discriminated union. We've got just a simple little initialize function here for our initial model. And we've got our little uh, timer command function that we've, we've got available. And then inside of here, we, we've got our view. And this is actually all built out here just in F sharp. There are actually two variations in Fabulous. So you can do Elmish or half Elmish. Half Elmish uses Xamarin in the view and full Elmish builds all of the views through code. And we can see we just have a nice kind of a DSL type language here where we have a content page. And then we've got our stack layout and then in our children in there is our various buttons that build up our UI, setting the various properties on there and then having you know dispatching of the, the, the different types of messages that are available there. So I'm not gonna really do a deep dive on this, so this is just a quick intro, but we, we crank up the program, and when we're in debug mode, we can do a console trace, and you know we can optionally run with our, uh, we're running with the dynamic view, and then we got some other options in here and some other experimental features. But uh, overall, this is, uh, I think this is a, a pretty cool architecture. I think that, uh, those of you that want to do, you know, cross-platform mobile development in F-Sharp, this is an excellent solution, especially if you want to stay within the uh, Microsoft ecosystem. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, don't forget to put uh, suggestions for future videos in the comments, and uh, I'll see what I can do to accommodate those. Thanks a lot, everybody.